For ultra cheap games and discounted GTA shark cards, be sure to check out G2A in the description and use code BOSS for an extra discount. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be doing another Q&A video where I take your questions from Twitter and I answer them all in this video. Now in today's Q&A, it's kind of the aftermath of the free mode events update. So lots of concerns and questions about that, as well as the future for Grand Theft Auto Online in terms of content that's going to be coming next and a whole lot more. So once again, if you guys want to get involved in the next one, I definitely recommend you go down in the description follow me on Twitter I announce there about once a week when I do these Q&A videos and I always select the best questions and feature you guys in the video so get involved I love doing it uh, and I'm sure you guys like it as well but without the way let's get it started all right so this first question is a tough one and as I always do with the first ones I extend it to you guys meaning right now I want you to reply to this in the comments section and it comes from Tillin TK and he says, what do you think the community is looking for in a GTA Online DLC? Sort of the quote unquote perfect DLC. And that's a tough question because obviously I am only a small, 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 small fraction uh, of the Grand Theft Auto Online community. So my input is obviously just an opinion. And I know the community is going to have differing opinions. But for me personally, uh, I like to see a DLC that has really good patch notes that changes a lot of good things in Grand Theft Auto Online. I think that's one of the strong suits of the free mode events update. I'll talk about that a little bit later though. So good patch notes that fixes a lot of changes and features. Um, I do like a little bit of content. I think that's one thing the free mode DLC was missing. So I like cars. I like clothing. I like new weapons. Obviously, I like collecting tangible stuff for my character in Grand Theft Auto Online. And then something that it, we've seen once or twice in DLCs, I think in the heist update, something game changing, something brand new to online. Heists were certainly game changing and brand new and I thought that experience was awesome. Uh, so if a DLC had like something incredible like let's just say mansions or a casino for example that's what that's what everyone's kind of pointing at and if it had that some cars some guns some nice new features and changes that's a really nice dlc right there now once again that's only my opinion i am only a small portion of the community uh, but i still think that that would be very nice let me know what your perfect dlc is in the comment section right now michael mano says do you think this is the worst update hashtag ask ross uh no i don't think it's the worst update a lot of people didn't like this DLC because it didn't come with new content uh, in terms of stuff they could buy. And it is unfortunate that it didn't come to the last generation. But I don't think it is the worst DLC. It's also hard to complain about something that's 100% free. Uh, I think there's been other Grand Theft Auto Online updates that had cars and vehicles that I didn't like as much as this one. Uh, but I'm not going to get into too many details about that. To keep your question and my answer short and sweet, do I think it is the worst update? No. Um, but by far, I didn't think it was the best update either. Dalton Parks 13 says, do you think that Grand Theft Auto Online is going to receive a new free mode events later on? I'm really not too sure because when Rockstar adds something new, like they added Heist, they said that that was like a really big undertaking that they don't think they were going to add anymore. So I really don't know how complex or complicated it was putting together these free mode events. If I imagine it was anything very similar to Heist, then I'm going to say no. Considering there's already so many in the game, there's already 12, whereas there's only five heist missions. But when you consider all the heist prep missions, there's a total of, I think it's like 20. So I'm not sure. Maybe Rockstar has plans to add them in the future. If it's an easy thing to add, I could maybe see them doing one or two per update. That would be really cool. That would actually be really refreshing doing like a new free mode event every update. That's one way I think they could keep the free mode lobbies and game modes pretty lively and exciting. So I think that's a pretty good idea, but we're just going to have to wait on Rockstar to see what they think about that. RHYS Haffenden said, what do you think is the best free mode event from the update? There's a few that I really like. Uh, one of them is penned in. I think that is super fun. Uh, it's like on the ground bumper go-karts try to stay in the circle. I think it's fun when you get people that aren't trying to troll you. I've also had some pendens that are pretty poo-poo just because of the players that I was with. By far my two favorite are Criminal Damage and Hunt the Beast. One, because you make a pretty good amount of money in RP, but two, Hunt the Beast can like last forever. It can literally go around for like 20 or 30 minutes, so that in of itself I think is pretty cool. And Criminal Damage is fun as well. I typically grab a tank and just blow up anything I can. And the fact that you can't get cops is a great stress reliever because I'm just going around literally shooting everything I see in sight uh, and it's 
pretty entertaining to say the least. So yes, I really like Criminal Damage. I like Pendant. I like Hunt the Beast. There's a few that I uh, that I really don't like that I just think that I, I'm not a fan of either because I suck or uh, I think that are kind of boring. Uh, but for the most part, the free mode events are pretty fun and I enjoy them. Martinio says, now that old generation is out of DLCs, what's going to happen to the DLCs provided to next gen? Are they going to be better? Are they going to be more complex? Now, I'm not 100% sure if Last Gen isn't getting any more DLC. Once again, Rockstar is, hasn't been a totally clear about it. I'm not sure if they're, the old gen has the capacity to get another traditional DLC, cookie cutters we like to call it, with cars, guns, and clothing. It didn't really seem like it, but at the same rate, they weren't exactly clear. But as far as next gen, yeah, I can see them getting a lot more better, uh, more complex like you saw with the free mode update in terms of some of the things that are added into the game. So yeah, I can see them being improved and I can see them being a lot better, which for those of us like myself who play on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, that's exciting because uh, that means our new content for Grand Theft Auto Online is going to be fun, it's going to be energized, it's going to be updated, upgraded. So I think that's cool. Is going to be better and more complex? I'm not sure, but I think it definitely opens up the door for Rockstar to do a few more things, knowing that they don't have to like scale back everything to keep up with the last generation. And our final question comes from Matthew Gibson, and he says, what happened to the 12 lowrider cars in the lowrider slash lowlife DLC? Now, we don't know exactly what happened with that update. We do know that the coding for a low DLC was found, as well as the 12 lowrider cars that you mentioned, uh, but that doesn't certainly necessarily mean that it's gone forever. As you guys know, Rockstar promised and said that there's gonna be more updates and DLCs with cars, clothing, vehicles, weapons that you can collect for your character and online. So they certainly said that new stuff is coming soon. Just because we found out about the low rider and low life, quote unquote, that's what we kind of think it is, content a few months ago, doesn't necessarily mean that it's gotta be the first DLC to come out after it's announced. So it might be coming out soon, it might be scrapped, we don't really know, and we won't find out till Rockstar provides more information for us. Anyways, that's all the questions that I'm gonna be answering in today's Q&A video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Once again, if you wanna get involved in the next Q&A, go down in the description, follow me on Twitter. I announce there once or twice a week when I do these Q&As, and I always pick the best questions, so go down there and hit that follow button. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5, videos like this with all the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video